Hi, I'm Melinda Green, and I'm going to show you how to assemble your 2x2x2x2 puzzle. The kits come with everything that you need, including the hyper stickers, into which you will be inserting magnets. It includes all the magnets that you need. There's also an assembly jig, which will hold your work in place while you do that. A magnet pusher tool, which will help you get the magnets off the magnet stack and into the hyper stickers and a magnetic polarity guide, which will help you not get the magnets inserted in the wrong orientation. You should take your time with that step because it's very difficult to get magnets out once they've been inserted. So just double check your work before you push the magnet all the way in and make sure that you've got it right. And with, with a little bit of care, that should be no trouble at all. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to mount your assembly jig to some sort of base. It can be almost anything. In this case, I just used a hunk of wood and some hot glue. You can use just about any kind of glue you have. Now, the way it works is first we insert all the magnets into all the pieces, and then we assemble all the magnetized pieces into the hypercubies. So how do we do that? You just put a sticker in the jig and you'll notice that there are six little pockets. Those will hold the magnets. The magnets are facing outward on these outer surfaces so you can sort of see the angle in which the magnets need to sit to be positioned against the outer edges of the hyper stickers. And the magnetic jig also includes some magnets installed so that it'll be difficult to get magnets in the wrong orientation. Like here, I can't push it into the red pocket, but I can put it into the blue pocket. That means it's correct. And the magnetic polarity guide is also helpful in this regard. What you do is you put it in the middle of your magnet stack like this, and it simply color codes and shows you which direction to put the magnets in. Just line up blue and blue, or red and red, and you pretty much can't go wrong. If you really insist on getting it the wrong way around, it is possible to do that. But if you just sort of relax your grip before you put it in, then the magnets will jump out if they're wrong. This is the correct way, and you, you see it's, it's quite happy. So then what you do is you use the magnetic pusher tool to get the bottom magnet off the stack just put it at the base of the magnet stack and just sort of rotate it a little bit and it pushes the magnet off. And here you see it in position in the magnet pocket. It has some features that will help hold the magnet while you're doing the assembly so the, the magnets aren't going to fall out. And then once the cubes are assembled, then they won't be able to move at all. So now the next thing to do is to get the magnet slotted correctly into the bottom of the, of the magnet pocket. And here's how you do that. Sort of a three-step process. First step is to get the magnet into the general area of the, the pocket like this, just sort of floating. Then the second step is to push the top edge against the wall like that. And then finally, push the magnet straight down into the pocket bottom. And now it's quite securely held. And You'll just alternate red, blue, red, blue as you go around the edges of the hyper sticker. And then you can just move the sticker into the next position and continue. I know I'm moving a little bit fast, but it's really quite straightforward and uh, you'll, get, you'll get pretty fast pretty quickly. And that's one hyper sticker completed. And also, the kits will sometimes come with two different kinds of magnets, uh, or you might get a set with just, with just one. So the reason for this is that I'm trying to get a ideal and consistent magnetic strength to the overall puzzle. And magnets come in only some very discrete strengths. So sometimes to get the proper effect, I'll give you two different types of magnets.
that'll have two different strengths. And one of them will be put in only the blue positions and the other one in the red position. So there will always be one magnet of each type everywhere that the hyperstickers connect to each other. So what we do is put the bluish looking magnets at the blue end of the polarity tool and the reddish magnets on the red. And then we just do like before, red to red, blue to blue. It's exactly the same. So we'll do another hyper sticker here. And personally, I find it pretty satisfying to magnetize stickers and put the puzzles together. It's a little bit like knitting. You can do it without too much attention and it's kind of relaxing. It's nice to listen to music or a podcast or something like that while you're doing it. And then in the end, you have a beautiful result to show for it. And take it slowly. It could take you a couple hours to do it if you're careful. But by the end, you'll probably be doing it pretty quickly. And you could build a puzzle in easily under an hour once you uh, once you got really fast. All right. So now we have. Four stickers completed, and I'll show you how to put them together into a cubie. So here's all four stickers, and here's the cubie that I want to build. So this is the pink, white, blue, orange, and here's how you do that. So I like to have a, a guide that I can look at. It can either be a an actual QB from another puzzle, or it could just be a photograph. And I will link in the description to a photograph that shows all the colors of all the stickers. I guess like this, you can see all of the, uh, all of the colors at the same time. So that's enough of, of a visual guide to put another QB together. So what I like to do is to put this top two stickers together first and then build from there. And the way to do that is to is to put them together and just, just hinge the, the two halves together until they meet. And then here's part of the cube that we're starting to build. All right, so got the white facing this way, blue facing us. Now comes the only chance to get the stickers in the wrong orientation. There's one way that's right and one way that's wrong. So it's the third sticker that makes the difference. I'll just look at what sticker goes here. That's the orange sticker goes on this side. So as long as I get this one right, everything else will be correct. And the way that I do that is I use a sticker as a base, in this case, the white sticker. And I just arrange the other three around it, sort of like the petals of a flower. I, I put them together like this and then hinge it. And at this point, you'll need to open that one sticker out of the way to let the clips pass and then get it loosely put together like this. And then you put in the last one, which can only go in the last slot like this. And it's ready when all of these gaps are the same size. And what you do at this point is put them back into the jig with this open end facing down and then just, just rotate the piece until it's in the lowest position it can be, like this. And then press on all three of these outer faces at once and just press down hard. And that's it. So let's make sure we got it right. There we go. Perfect. And what you want to know too is if you get it wrong, how do you fix it? Well, the clips hold it very securely, so you, you can't do this by hand. It's not so bad if you need to 
get it open again, just put it back in the jig. As a tool like an ice pick or a nail or, or something that's sharp and thin like this. This pick seems to work pretty well. And then you just put it directly in the center junction of those three stickers. And then get your hands out of the way. You don't want to poke yourself. Just have it pointing straight down and then with both hands gently push it into the hypercubie like that. Even now that it's partly open, probably too difficult to open by hand, but if you just do the same thing for any one of the other junctions as well, then it will come up easily. And chances are you won't damage anything. So there we are. And if they were the wrong way around, you don't even need to target a particular pair of colors to swap or anything. Just remove any one piece, set it down, then remove any other piece and put it into that first piece of slot. Like that. And then put the blue in the remaining open spot. Make sure these gaps are all the same. And boom, you got a cubie. So in this case, you'll see that these are different. They're opposite handedness. And that's it. So then you just uh, the rest of the cubies together like this. And how does this go together? I'm doing it backwards, so I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, it's the wrong one. That's right. I, uh, I turned that one inside out. So let's fix that one anyway and uh, put it back in. One more time. All right, now this should work. There we go. So now the cube is fully built and fully functional. And one of the other fun things is that the assembly jig on a base makes for a perfect cube stand. So look at that. Isn't that cute? There's your cube stand. All right, good luck and happy hypercubing.